Hello Sagittarius, this is Shah speaking from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. I hope you have enjoyed the seven month for, uh, forecast um, uh, on the yearlies, extent, uh, an update on the yearlies and last week's readings by the looks of it. Um, a lot of you did but Gemini was the highest and Virgo was, uh, no sorry, Capricorn was the second. What I'm going to do in the future is I'm going to take uh, the first video that is the highest likes. So if you would like your your star sign to be first then hit that button and make sure that you become first and share and like. Thank you for sharing and liking up till now as much as you do. I do appreciate it and if you're new welcome to the channel and if you would like to subscribe please and hit that bell on all then you'll be notified when I go live on Monday Wednesday and Friday I give away free cards and I also answer questions um, that are supported by a super chat or a super sticker you can find the information below or in the top right hand corner that will take you to the website and my website has been updated today so go and have a look because there is lovely news you can win a totally new deck uh, this deck uh, the Shadowland Tarot deck by Monica Bodursky with compliments from the publishers and I've been using these for the last two weeks and I love them. They're vibrant, they're color colorful and they make me chuckle. They're also humoristic and they send out so many picture, uh, messages um, because there's so much going on in just one card. Not just the tarot, it's more things happening. Okay, I'm going to start this reading with a psychic side of it. Um, and then see whether the cards can confirm it. What I'm se uh, seeing for you Sagittarius uh, is that you are busy and you're glad to be free again and outside that the lockdown is easing up. Um, you've got a lot of things planned. Um, your mind has been going ten to a dozen round and round. You might have uh, started something new and you're, you can't wait to develop that even more and I see you crossing your T's and dotting your I's. You want this really badly and you want to go on holiday as well. You might be wanting to move and perhaps that's why you're working so hard in order to get everything uh, round to get the mortgage and crossing your T's and dotting your I's and meeting deadlines. I also see that some of you are scratching behind your ear. Is this really what I want? Um, and that you want a new change like Scorpio. You want They want a new lifestyle or a new something, a new house, uh, a new car. I don't know. I'm seeing something red, red and yellow. Okay, black is involved as well. Um, perhaps you might have been coming out of the dark into the light. That could also be it. It's like you've woken up to what you want and you're going to go for it. No wild horses can drag you away. Okay, the first card is the Seven of Pentacles. What you sow, you shall reap. But remember, it takes time to grow. Okay, now you can find more details underneath this video in the description box. And the second card is the Knight of Swords. Something will become clear to you. You will get news through cyber, email, text message or um, telephone call and it will be moving swiftly. This could be a new study, new wisdom, gathering new wisdom, clarity, justice, something official. Okay, could be certificates coming in. Ooh, nice one. You might be meeting a, Gem a Gemini, Libra or an Aquarium. 
Okay, you might be getting used to one of them. Who knows? I am shaking the cards. That's what I'm. you hear me doing. I don't know whether you can hear. Your boats are coming in. Look at that ship. Big fat ship coming in. This could be love. This could be money. This could be things that you wanted. This one is sticking out, so I'm taking it. And you've got the Page of Pentacles. Now, you can't get anything better than that. So that n is news on a house, mortgage, something that has durability and long term. It could be f uh, news from uh, a, a, a pentacle person. It could be news from a Virgo, Capricorn or a Taurus. Okay. I also hear music playing in the background. And look at this spider. He's got he's got his toes, six toes, in every single pot uh, pie. So you've got your finger in a lot of pies. Okay, it might be something to do with music or baking. I'm getting to hear baking. Okay, you might be investing in food or something to do with food or a study because look, you've got books there in the back. Okay, this is going to bring in the money for long term. You might see a return already. Now, at the uh, underneath the deck, you have met your soulmate, or you will meet your soulmate. You've got the two of cups. You've got the two of cups. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So your boat could be coming in, could be love. Okay, sorry, Gemini. Uh, why is Gemini? Well, that's Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Mm, nice one. And the Page of Pentacles is a Capricorn, because that's the last house. So Capricorn is prominent. Okay. And you've got the ring. Whoa. You're the only one that's got the ring. And you've got the Ace of Wands. Yes, you've got the Ace of Wands. Sagittarius, Aries or Leo. You're in your element. But you might be uh, um, partnering up or have a soulmate. And either romantically or uh, at work. With a fire sign. 25 becomes a 7. Lucky number. Then you have the star. Your dream or wish is coming true. Seven again. Seven, seven. Double numbers. The angels have your back. Your goal or wish is coming true. And you've got the eight of hearts. Did you see that light up and down? That is a message from the angels. And I'm not pressing any buttons here. I don't have that. A luxurious equipment but the eight of cups means you want a new start you want a new playground you want a new playground that could be a job a new passion a new romance a new partnership wow and it's lying next to the ring <laughs> love it and you've got the garden there might be a reunion there might be parties, there might be presentations, meetings, gatherings. You might be networking, okay? You might start your own company and you're gathering, you're networking to get clients. Uh, sorry, it's not the garden, it's the gentleman. <laughs> ah! uh, sorry about that. You might be meeting a man, sorry. More business-like. Well, that is a message, garden, networking. Yes, if you're a man and you've got your own business, or if you're a lady and you're more, uh, your masculine side is prominent, and you're being career-wise and steadfast and uh, business-like, you might be networking to get clients. And you might meet a man. That could be your wish, meeting a man. Ooh, 28 is an ending because it becomes a 10 so it's a new beginning a new beginning with a man sorry 
I thought you had the garden. I love this card though. I love the woman as well. She's got buildings in her face and head. And he has... He hasn't got so much. He's got more of a garden. That's why I thought it was the garden. Look at it. Like a park. Tennis courts. So that might be quite imminent. You might be meeting somebody at a tennis court or in park or a garden. Okay. And again, your ship is coming in. That's like the three of ones. And you've got the three of ones. And you got number three. So it's three, three, double number again. A ten, an ending to difficulties, a new beginning. You might be going on holiday or moving home. You might be crossing water. So your boat is coming in big time. And usually in the Lenemon it's an airship, but here it is on water. Wow. Okay. You're creative. The angels have your back. You've got 3-3 three, three, and you've got 7-7. Seven, seven. And underneath the deck you have the sun. Leo. Okay, new beginnings. Stability, 31. Stability. Proper foundations. You're in the spotlight. You're being noticed. Okay, you might be moving up a next level in your love life from getting engaged to getting married or in your work life. You might get a promotion, more money. This is money coming in, so perhaps you might get a rise or you might be getting qualified for something. And you've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Diamonds. Look, I don't know whether you can see it, the Ace of Diamonds. So the Ace of Pentacles means new beginning, new job, new home. I did say moving home, changing lifestyle. Uh, it might even be a birth of a child or a project because that's what the sun means as well. It is a very fertile time, a fertile time to get pregnant if you wish to get pregnant or to start a new job or a business. It will bear fruit on the long run because the Ace of Pentacles um, pentacles means durability and long term so you will see returns coming backwards and forwards um, what goes round keeps on coming round there might be bad times as well but that's the way of life but it will roll in okay that's what I'm hearing as well it will roll in but you have to stay active and be focused on what is happening on around you and on your goal your wish there might the, the the sun means you're in the spotlight but something is also being illuminated it's also leo so you might be in the eye of a leo or you might have interests in leo so there you go now let's have a look at what the romance card says for you It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And that's not only in love. Okay? That's also in general. Love yourself and you'll be loved. If you love others, they love you back. Beautiful. I like the way... Uh, the romance cards can also be used in general. Now I'm shaking the angel feather card and I'm taking this one. A practical approach is required. Yes, and that's right up your street, I think. The brown angel feather. Brown also means your earth or earth yourself. Okay? The angels advise you to focus on practicalities at the moment, one step at a time. 
you cannot run walk before you you cannot run before you can walk that's what what I said here I always twist that around sorry okay my darlings I hope you've enjoyed the video or the reading rather and I hope to see you in the life and my Sergis my sweeties you'll be in your element because the Sun is coming out and you are also fire sign and I know you enjoy the Sun what's that song from the Beatles here comes the Sun yes and you're in the spotlight I think that's a good one okay my darlings please sh share and like and be beautiful and stay warm and open that beautiful heart to you to receive you deserve it okay my darlings take care and be blessed give me the likes uh, and shares and and uh, the, the zodiac sign that's got the most thumbs will be the first one so if you would like to be the sign to be first to receive your re reading first then give me the thumbs up a as much as possible thank you ciao ciao be blessed and stay safe